And Russo. Oh, is that taken? It is. Oh. Good catch. Yeah. Afridi starts off with a wicket. Not the greatest of deliveries. But it doesn't matter. You got a wicket. Yeah. Well, silence in uh, Maratha Arabian camp. But uh, this is a big wicket. I'm telling you. In the contest of the match. Slightly short. But uh, skidding on. Russo didn't have the time to play it uh, more square. Didn't have the time. Just could only manage to hit it straight down the throat of a uh, long requirement. The 76 of 35 balls. That's a huge mountain to climb. Well, Bakhtun's made 121 for fight. We're ready. Second ball of the over. Oh, that's close. It's gone. Gone of the first ball. A pretty on a hat trick. What a magnificent delivery. Hurried on and Bravo in serious trouble. Well, how many matches these two have played against each other and still Afridi and Bravo going back to Afridi trying to play for a single and Afridi knew exactly what to do against Ben Bravo. Goes for a golden duck and Maratha Arabians are 46 for 4 now. Gun fire. So Sevag hasn't has been out of cricket for a while but uh, look at his record when he was playing. Look at that strike rate. Best of 122. He's on a hat-trick. He's on strike. Afridi! Will that be out? Will that be out? In fact, it is. Mirendra Sebag is the hat-trick victim. Shahid Afridi. He's just created history. The first ever to get a hat-trick in T10 cricket. Can you imagine if somebody would have told you that uh, on the first day of T20 league, we'll see a hat trick and that too by Shahid Afridi. Look at that, just that slider, quickish, no turn on it. Sevag uh, just tentative, not too far forward. It would have crashed into the next stump. So good decision by the umpire.